Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for some more CarX Drift Racing Online. Today we're going to be driving the 500 horsepower S13 on 100 adhesion around the newly added Mondello Park. And we're going to be jumping into the tandem drift, uh, so I really like this feature. Um, now unfortunately we only get two configs on the tandem layout, on the tandem feature I should say, which is a little bit disappointing because there's so many different layouts you can do on Mon Mondello Park and I don't feel like these two are really the best representations of the track. Uh, this first one, I did a few practice runs uh, just in the lead. I didn't even bother trying to chase it, uh, just because the course didn't really feel very fun and flowy. So you got a, quite a short run up into this initiation zone, and once you initiate, you pretty much have to drag the handbrake all the way down to this inner clip or just past it, um, just because it's such a long, drawn-out corner and then you into this sort of slow speed outer zone hairpin which kind of tightens which makes it a little bit awkward coming through uh, so you can't really just hold it on the throttle and push big angle you kind of got to be quite delicate on the throttle so that you don't run wide off the track then as you come out of here you do a bit of a mungie across the finish line which is quite a quite a boring layout really i didn't really i wasn't really too fond of that one the second one starts off pretty good uh, you get this run up into a a quick flick into another outside zone um, and this is actually sort of like the, the second half of the, the the only layout I've actually driven on this track which is the VDC 2020 layout on a Sato Corsa um, so we come into the outside zone on this corner um, run it basically as wide as you can then flick it into the outer clip here into this inner clip so it's the slowest point in the course uh, and then you extend the drift out to this outer clipping point do a bit of a mungie and then come into the final corner uh, you sort of carry quite a bit of speed but not too much because uh, if you carry too much you run off the track and this last corner gets a little bit weird because as you come through here you sort of uh, inner clip to the outer clip and then the course just really extends out so you you kind of got to wash out of the angle if your car doesn't have enough power which uh, unfortunately the 500 horsepower S13 doesn't so we've got to wash out of the angle quite severely to make that last outer clip um, so it ru ruins the flow of the corner really and it makes it hard to chase uh, but we'll jump in and I'll show you what I mean we'll see if we can get uh, uh, basically my always my goal for tandem runs is to get a total of 180 plus points uh, so we'll jump straight in we've got to change the view to fix the exposure so we'll flick it in in third gear handbrake into the outside zone speed it up so we can make this gap here another handbrake drag into the inner curb and we extend this out nice and wide then use the whole track to mungie down into the final corner and here's where the corner really extends out. You can see we really got to wash out of the angle. And because it's such a high speed exit, and when you cross the finish line, the game just locks the handbrake on and you're still in full control of the car, which is a little bit annoying. They should either just lock the brakes on as you cross the line or cut the force feedback to the wheel and cut all inputs. Because um, it, it's really annoying just waiting for that next screen to pop up. Uh, but we got a 93.6, pretty good first run. Let's see how we go in the chase. Just want to try and keep it nice and close, not be too aggressive. Make sure we leave enough room on the transitions. Giving a bit of a door rub we leave enough room on these Woo, transitions which I didn't and we get pulled away from on the last corner there oh Jesus uh, 87 uh, so we'll watch the replay real quick let's see where it all fell apart a little bit deeper in the entry uh, which kind of set me up quite nicely. Not super close, but we transitioned right on the bumper. And we got really aggressive on this corner, pushing right up on the door, giving a little bit of a nudge. 
And then I didn't quite give enough room at that transition, which is where the run fell apart. And cut the line and then ran super deep, and then obviously we just didn't have the same momentum coming out of the corner. So let's try again. Throw down another 90 point lead if we can. So we've got a good run to follow. So accelerate up to third gear, flick it in. Right on full lock. Oh, we're going really wide there on the grass. Nice big angle through that inner clip. We have a fake, the invisible inner clip. I use it as an inner clip, but it's not actually an inner clip. And across the line. A pretty reasonable run, apart from those tie drops, but as long as we don't go too far off the track, we'll be right. Another 93.4. Let's go for the chase. Second gear, try and mimic the initiation. Third gear flick. As you can see, the lead car is very slow there because I dropped those tyres, which is not ideal to follow. So we're going to restart that run entirely. Try and keep it on the track and keep it clean so we got a nice clean line to follow. Oh, and we're straight off the track, pushing a little bit too much speed there. Let's try that again. Get a bit more wheel spin off the line so we're not as fast on the initiation. Make sure we don't go off the track this time. Beautiful. out nice and wide. Well, that transition was very slow, we're going to have to be very careful of that on our chase run. And as we extend that corner out and across the line. So our transition was very slow because I was very worried about running off the, the edge of the track there, so just a point to watch in the chase run. The beauty of running against yourself, you know exactly what's going to happen. But still very easy to make mistakes as we mimic that initiation. Try and get a little bit deeper. A little bit of a door rub. Ooh, ooh very sloppy, very sloppy in the chase. But we know this transition is going to be slow. right up on the door, see if we can hold it through this corner. A little bit of separation there, but very sloppy through the first two sections. We're not even going to bother watching that, because it would have looked terrible. Let's try it again. to a good chase is a nice smooth lead. So we'll try and we'll just lay down smooth lead with consistent speed. Very shallow on angle coming through that last corner, but there's just not much we can do about it. But 92.2 we're nice and smooth, so it should be a good run to follow. Try not to be too aggressive. Whoops. Reel that car back in. Watch out for the transition.
Very nice. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that is my highest scoring chase run so far. Let's have a look. Who's kept it nice and smooth and consistent. We fell back a bit because of that bump off the start, but we managed to reel it back in because we can run that shallower line through that first part of that first corner, pulling right up close, right across the bumper. Then we're very, very tight on proximity. Ease up the room for the transition, across the bumper again, and then fire it down the inside. A little bit of a bump there, but pushing right into the door. And then right on the rear quarter panel as we end the run. So very nice chase run there. So we'll get the, uh, the result from that one. So 190 totals. That's, I believe that is the highest score I've got so far. So we get 6,000 XP and 28,000 bucks cash in the bank. We'll give it another go, see if we can better the lead run and do another nice chase. Make sure I don't stall it off the line this time. Speed nice and consistent. Not bad, not bad. And 94.7, so we got a slightly better lead run. So let's see if we can do it one more time in the chase. No botch in the entry this time. Try and mimic that initiation. Ah, oh, definitely cut that corner a little bit too tight. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this transition. Oh, we didn't quite time it right, but we're still right on the door. Did it, how much did it cost us with that little bump? Not a huge amount. Let's have a look at the result. 188, it's not quite a 190. Give it one more go, see if we can crack a ripper score. Probably won't. I think uh, that chase run previously was probably as about as good as I'm going to get tonight. Under the chase runner, 95 leads, pretty good. Let's see if we can get that 95 plus chase. The final run, can we pull it off? Having a bit to be desired on the proximity. That's all right, we can pull it in for the rest of the run power nicely into fourth leave a nice amount of room here ah oh, and we've botched it push that door in across the line but it's not going to do our score any good we just didn't quite time that transition into the last corner good enough but it's still a pretty decent score with a 189 so pretty good that's going to wrap up the video. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.